Satan looked up at Jesus with pride and a smile as he hung on the cross. His kingdom celebrated the words that were said in John chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus took the sour wine and said, It is finished. He put his head down and gave up his spirit and died. At that same time, Satan believed that those words, it is finished, marked the end of the spiritual battle, that he would forever hold the keys to Hades. In his pride, he stood as king over humanity through sin. This same pride led him to believe the same thing about me. Everything started when I was in 8th grade. I finally had my first experience with love. I had a relationship relationship going for about a year and the relationship broke off because of a decision that she had made to cheat on me. I fell into a deep depression for about a month and I, I wasn't eating right, I was in my room constantly thinking about suicide, but the breakup was not the only thing that would torture me. My sin was torturing me. All of this drove me to deciding one night that I would finally commit suicide, but instead of committing suicide, I fell into a deep sleep after crying for hours and hours. Then I had a dream, and in this dream, I walked down a hallway that was filled with God's glory. And as I was walking down this hallway, I turned to the left, and there was a door, and I opened it. And Jesus was sitting there, and his white robes, and he had a table prepared for me. The whole room was filled with his glory, and as I walked in, he motioned with his hand like this for me to go sit down. And as I walked over there in my brokenness, breaking down, I sat down at the table. And he grabbed a pitcher that was on the table with his blood, and he had an empty cup ready for me, and he poured his blood into my cup. At that moment, I wanted to express the things that were in my heart, the pain that I felt, the depression, everything that was inside me was killing me. But then I woke up, and I was a new man. His peace filled my heart, and he healed me. I've never been the same since. It's been seven years since that happened to me. And I've had the privilege to start prayer at my high school. I've had the privilege to go out and witness to people on the streets. I've had the privilege to lead people to Christ, to share my testimony, and most of all, to disciple the young man at my church, and also to walk alongside my one true friend, Jesus. Many of you sit here today asking, is God done with me? And I'm here to tell you, He is not done with you. Philippians 1, 6 says this, that God, who began a good work in you, is able to complete it until the day that Jesus Christ comes back. I want you to say this with me. Say, God is not done with me. Say, God is not done with me. Say it again. Say, God is not done with me. God is not done with me. He is not done with you. Listen, He is not done. The story didn't end for Jesus when He was hung on the cross. You see, he marched into hell, and he took the keys from Satan. He took it from the very one that was trying to destroy us. He defeated our greatest enemy. The cross seemed like a tragedy, a disaster to Satan. But to us, it is the power of God yeah. to defeat yeah. sin. It is the power of God to forgive the sins of all of humanity. You see, my story was a tragedy turned triumph. Not only is God not done with us, but he's got a mission for us to complete. To tell those who are in crisis that they can go from tragedy to triumph. Truth be told, we're not done when we preach our best sermon. We're not even done when we finish performing and doing the things that we do. I don't believe we can say we're finished so long as our homes still have unsafe members. I don't believe we can say we are done if our neighborhoods are not saved. How can we say we're finished if our city is the same? My challenge to you is to help you turn others from tragedy into the miracle of salvation that can only happen if today we decide that we are already fighting a defeated enemy. We must step out and be genuine witnesses, not judgmental to any sinner, and to show them the love of God through our actions and our words. We are not done so long as a sinner is still alive. We must be the messengers of God, ready to, to transform people from tragedy to triumph. I believe we are not done today. We are just getting started. Because let me tell you something. We will be able to echo the very same words that Jesus said when he hung on the cross when he comes back. It is finished. Thank you.